babes, welcome to my channel. I'm Maria, aka Agape Love Girl. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today, as you can tell, I am sharing a bunch of mascara empties. Now, this video is kind of a long time coming, um, and I had hoped to film that a little bit sooner, but I just knew it was going to be kind of like time and, and labor intensive kind of a video that I just kept putting it off. But I've been really, really excited to to do it and, and tell you guys all about these different mascaras. I do have the 19 or 20 mascaras to share with you. There is a lot. So I am going to try to go through them very um, briefly, but still give you guys a good, hopefully, um, idea of the mascara and my thoughts as well. Almost all of these mascaras I have used at some point on my channel, so what I am hoping to do as well is um, take clips from those videos and insert them here so you kind of get a better look at the brush, a better look at how they look on my lashes and things like that, so you can kind of see them in action as well as hear my thoughts on them. So that's kind of like what we're doing here in this video. I am going to also try to link every or list and link every single mascara in the description box that way um, and with timestamps that way if you only want to learn about a certain specific one you kind of skip around there since um, this video might be long but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to keep it brief. Lastly if you are wondering at all what is on my eyes today what mascara I am wearing today I'm actually wearing one that is very new to me this is only the second time I have worn it and it is the Catrice Glam and Doll False Lash Mascara. I'm still developing my thoughts on this um, I'm pretty sure this video will go up before my Catrice one, but I recently um, purchased a bunch of Catrice products um, from Ulta when they were doing that 20% off um, kind of a thing, and so um, I wanted to test out Catrice products, and so I did like a little Catrice haul, and I will do a video showing off the Catrice products and my, my thoughts and stuff on them. So just in case you were curious, that is something to look forward to. As well, if you are curious at all what's on my lips, I'm awfully proud of this lip color. Um, this is actually one of the lip colors that I created using um, the Pixie, like Pixie Buy Me little contest um, lip creator kit thing I was sent in PR. Um, I have a video swatching all the newest um, matte last liquid lipsticks from Pixie Beauty. And if you haven't seen that video, they had actually sent um, a couple colors that you can custom create your own liquid lipstick um, for a chance to kind of win um, the opportunity to go out and and meet together with the uh, Pixie Beauty Company and um, have your own color created with them and kind of and stuff like that. So I actually created three different shades. This is one of them. I love the way it turned out. And I think I had said I wa probably wasn't going to do a YouTube video for the lipsticks that I created. I was just going to put them on Instagram. But I actually do think I'm going to do a full video on YouTube showing my um, creation since I did do three of them. Um, so I'm not sure if that'll be posted before this one or after. Um, so if it's already posted, I will link it. If not, stay tuned. <laughs> so with that, let's Let's go ahead and get into this. So up first is the Butter London Double Decker Mascara. This is a mascara that I received in a BoxyCharm box, and I actually really, really like this mascara. Now, it does have a pretty big wand on it, um, so it's not my, uh, like, preference is for like super fat wands just because it can be a little bit difficult to get the lower lashes and um, sometimes can be a little bit difficult you know, getting mascara on. But I felt like once you kind of got past that, this really gave some gorgeous, voluminous lashes. And I remember thinking that this kind of reminded me of the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. Now, I don't remember how much this mascara costs, so I can't say if it's like a dupe or not, because if it's the same price or more expensive, obviously it's not a dupe. But if it is a little bit cheaper, I would recommend this. If you do like the Too Faced mascara, this one is really great. I love the volume it gave. I love the length it gave. It's a really great mascara. Next up is one that is a little bit of a dud, actually a lot of a dud. This is a really big dud. Um, um, this is the Cover Girl Peacock Flare Mascara. This one has a very interesting wand on it. It looked really promising because I do like the type of mascaras that have that flexi tip like this. Um, I like those mas those kind of wands. I find that they usually are really great for my lashes because the way I apply mascara, I really like the little flexi rubber wands. I feel like usually they work really well. This one did not. 
I didn't do anything for my lashes. Um, it has like this spiral type of um, like bristles on it, um, but I don't know. Maybe it's just because they're too short. I'm not sure. Maybe the formula is not good, but this did nothing for my lashes. It didn't curl them. It didn't give them length. Um, it maybe separated them a little bit, but I just remember like really not liking this. Uh, I didn't even, I used this maybe three times and after that I was like, I just can't and I'm not going to keep using this and mascara is, does nothing for my lashes, so no. Um, I did receive this in PR, I actually, I act, <laughs> oh, blah, 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 blah. Um, and I also got um, the waterproof version, this is the regular version. I gave the waterproof version to my daughter because she prefers waterproof mascaras and she actually liked that mascara and I actually thought it looked really great on her so maybe the waterproof formula is a little bit better because I remember her lashes looked really great and I was like, ooh, what mascara are you wearing? Um, because she's like me and always has like five open that she's using um, but she was like, oh, it's a new one that you just gave me, the peacock one and I was like, wow, it actually looked really good on her lashes, made them look long and all that so um, for her, it was good. For me, the regular version was no good. <laughs> Next up is another really good one. This is the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. Um, I don't even know if this one necessarily needs any kind of review from me. I think this is a favorite for a lot of people. It's just a really good mascara. Um, I haven't used this in a long time, so I'm trying to remember my thoughts on it. I just remember really, really liking it, but I feel like if I'm remembering correctly, it gave really good volume. It gave good length. Um, it is kind of like one of those wands that are um, pretty, it's not super thick, not as thick as the Double Decker one, but it's a little bit more thick. It's got a a lot more bristles to it so I feel like I remember that it really gave a lot of volume and really coated the lashes which is really nice and just I don't know I just remember feeling like it's one of those mascaras that makes you feel like you're almost wearing falsies but you're not obviously it just it's a really good mascara <laughs> And this is a mascara that I actually have a backup of. I actually just got one, another one in PR from, from Urban Decay, so I'm actually really glad for that because, like I said, it's a mascara I really liked. I've also got another mascara from Urban Decay. This is their uh, Troublemaker Mascara. When this one came out, it definitely caused quite a stir uh, in the beauty community because this uh, the claims on this mascara uh, were that it was sex proof if I'm remembering correctly like yeah okay um and so anyways um this has a really interesting wand it is one of those flexi tip wands and i liked that um and the bristles i'm pretty sure the video i have of it that i'll insert here um i'll show the bristles up close but the bristles are kind of insane they kind of go from from long to short and they kind of alternate sides doing that and they kind of have these like almost hook like bristles I don't know what you call them but they're it's kind of scary looking um up close but honestly it's like it's not that intimidating it just takes some getting used to with this kind of funky wand and I remember that I like this mascara okay it, I wouldn't say it was a favorite and I don't actually even think I would recommend it um because it just wasn't my favorite it was just okay to me and because it is Urban Decay it probably is an expensive mascara so it, it really isn't one that I like super recommend just because I didn't love it. Um, I remember that it gave me, got a lot of volume. I feel like I'm remembering that it gave me some curl, but I think it was one of the things that disappointed me about this is that it promised to also give a length, and I don't re feel like it gave me any length. Also, this um, gives kind of a very fluttery, very feathery like appearance to your lashes, which um, kind of is nice speak for uh, clumpy lashes in a way. <laughs> um, it's not clumpy in the sense that it's like terrible clumpy, but it is going to give you more of a like feathery lash, not super defined lash. And so that's another thing um, that was just okay to me because I prefer a really def more defined lash. I love volume, but give me some definition. Like I love definition. Um, and this one, not so much. The thing I think I like the best about this is the packaging because it's this gorgeous like beveled um beautifully colored mascara tube and it's just really really beautiful. I'd like to have a bunch of G these just for display because it's like that um iridescent like it's just they're just really pretty. I mean, look at this. 
it's beautiful. <laughs> um, but as far as, like I said, the mascara itself, it was just okay to me. Another one that was kind of just like a little bit of a dud for me, I think I got this at IMATS like two years ago, something ridiculous. But this is the Absolute New York Lash Pop Length and Curl Mascara. Now the reason I picked this up is because I was just really curious about this brand. I'd never really heard of it at the time. I still don't really, I haven't, don't think I've heard anything about them. Um, but anyways, and I, I saw that it did have like this curved wand, um, but it's like such a fat wand. It's a fat curved wand. Um, it is kind of like that flexi um, material. I think I only used this a handful of times a handful of times and then I didn't keep using it. So this is one that I opened, used a couple times, and then just never reached for again because I feel like I remember it didn't really do anything for my lashes. Um, it is a curved wand, which is my preference. Like, um, my preference for mascara is the, the curved wands. I feel like that when you use a curved wand and you just kind of slowly go up, you could really build curl um, with a curved wand. And so, you know, I always gravitate towards cur mascaras with curved wands. Um, and I also like the rubber flexi wands as well. This one is both of those, but I don't know. I think just because the bristles are so short and dense, they're like very densely packed together. I might have to zoom you guys in on this one just because I don't have footage of me using this that I just don't remember it doing anything for my lashes as well because it is such a thick wand. I felt like I don't know, I just didn't like using it. That's all I can remember. I'm sorry it's not more helpful. If anybody... <laughs> if anyone else has tried this mascara or just any of these, please feel free to leave your own opinions, especially if they are different than mine or even if they're the same and you experience the same things or just any tips you have. If there's something that I'm kind of griping about but you're like, oh, it works better this way, please feel free to share. Like, I love that. I love when people come here and are like, here's some tips about this and like share their recommendations or whatever it is, please feel free to share because anyone else watching might be able to read the comments and find some helpful tips and information um, from you, you know, so you guys are very welcome to share. So if you guys have tried this and you like it, have any thoughts about it, feel free to share. But yeah, this was kind of just like a, a dud for me. I wouldn't, wouldn't purchase it again. Moving on, I have the Ciate London Wonder Lash Mascara. This one is really, really, like the tube, the packaging itself is beautiful. It's got like these stars all around it. It's very, very weighty. Even now it's very weighty. Um, mostly the handle is very like weighted, so it feels very luxurious. And the packaging is like, it's very nice. It's like a um, metal packaging. I think this is an expensive mascara. I did receive this for free in PR, um, and I and I was able to pick stuff out. They asked me what I want to try. I was really intrigued by the, this mascara. It has a, um, what is this called? An hourglass shape, and that is kind of like my second favorite um, brush design for a mascara is the um, hourglass shape and so I thought I would really like this and I will say that I actually did really really like the result I got with my ma my lashes with this mascara. <laughs> Can't talk today. However, there is a downside to this mascara. It flakes <laughs> and I was, I was super bummed about that because like I said, I really like the way my lashes looked with this mascara. However, by like, I don't know, three or something hours by the three hour mark or so there would definitely be flaking and it would be really obvious flaking and I don't think I've ha ever had a mascara flake this bad this I felt like I had like mascara freckles <laughs> that's how bad it was um if anybody else has tried this please let me know if if this is that has ever happened to you with this mascara because I'd hate to like be talking bad about mascara if this maybe this is just a one instance or I got a dud or this was just an old one I don't know it didn't seem like it was old like dried out or anything the formula seemed really really nice but it just flaked so I, I wouldn't recommend for that reason and I wouldn't purchase all right moving on I have a little uh, deluxe sample size mascara this is the benefit ruler lash mascara I do believe I received this in a um, subscription box of some sort I think it was like glossy box or something um, and and I remember really liking this mascara actually. It's a really great mascara. Anyone who has tried the, the roller lash, usually everybody loves it. It does have a somewhat of a curved wand. However, I will say, and I think this has already been said, this is already a kind of well-known thing, um, is that I feel like there is definitely a dupe for this um, in the drugstore and it would be the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. I totally feel like that is a dupe and I, I have had that mascara as well and have used it up 
Um, although I don't have that, so I must have actually thrown that one away. <laughs> so, so funny. But that is a mascara that I have picked up and bought myself, purchased, I think, two or three times in the past couple of years. It's a really great mascara, um, and I feel like does exactly the same job as this. So while this is an amazing mascara, and if you want to spend the extra money for the, the uh, you know, high-end brand mascara, this is a really great one. But if you want a dupe, try the Maybelline, Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara, because that one works just as good and is a fraction of the cost. Speaking of Maybelline, I actually have several Maybelline mascaras. If you were to ask me, uh, I would tell you that Maybelline makes my favorite mascaras. Pretty sure, because uh, there are so many mascaras of theirs that I've tried and I've loved. Um, and I have two from them that are actually legit my favorites. Even though some of them I haven't used in years, they're my favorite. But it's because I'm constantly getting new mascaras. Like, I have other mascaras that I have received, you know, I've already shown, I think, two or three that I've received in subscription boxes and I get, I get some in PR, so I'm like constantly like there's really, you know, I'm constantly getting mascara so there's no need for me to buy new mascaras. But Ma Maybelline, hands down, I think makes some of the best mascaras, such great prices. Anyways, moving on. I have this, this is the uh, Total Temptation Mascara, and this isn't one that I would call a favorite, but this is a really, really nice mascara. If I'm remembering correctly, this one is in, like infused with coconut oil or something like that. And because of that, it actually does have a really, really nice scent to it, like a sweet scent, like a, I wouldn't call it a coconut scent. It still has kind of a like th that typical, uh, mascara like chemical scent not that mascara smell chemical but you guys know what I mean most mascaras all have the same scent <laughs> um, so it kind of smells like that with a mixture of something a little bit sweet almost vanilla e like um, it does have a sweet scent um, so this one gives really nice um, soft lashes so that's why it's one that I wouldn't say is my favorite I do think it does a really great job at adding a volume and a length but um, it is just a very soft mascara um and i and that's just not my preference it's not a bad thing which is for me personally i like a mascara that somewhat makes them crispy not crispy hard the way a waterproof mascara does to where it's like you can't get it off and you feel like your lashes are going to snap in half like not that far i don't like waterproof mascaras um but i like them to have a little bit of you know sturdiness there to where i know like i could touch them and they're not like I don't know, like they're not like my normal lashes. I don't know, it's, does that make sense? Anyways, so this one's just a little bit softer. It leaves my lashes just a little bit softer um, than uh, my preference, but it is a really beautiful mascara and does a really great job. I think I have a, a video uh, um, using this and showing it like side by side. And it also, the other thing is it builds up really nicely. I love that. So while um, the first coat might be not like super um, like length, and volume it builds up beautifully and I'm the type of person who really loves to build up my mascara I will put you know keep working it keep working it until I've got like you know my lashes are going this one does an amazing job being built upon so I do really like it not my favorite but it is one that I have um, recommended to friends and they have loved it, so it's a great mascara. Since we're already on uh, Maybelline as a brand, I have a couple more from Maybelline. And this is the um, Falsies Push-Up Angel Mascara. And um, I actually purchased this because um, I there was a mascara that was my daughter's favorite. She said it was the, the, the Falsies Mascara. And so I was gonna buy her that mascara and buy myself it because I remember her lash, lashes always looked amazing when she used that mascara. But I had never actually seen the tube. I just know that she said it was the Falsies, I believe. Apparently there's two different kinds of the Falsies from Maybelline. I picked up this purple one. I got one for her and one for me. And it turns out it was the wrong Falsies mascara. Um, but I ended up really liking this mascara. It is a really interesting wand. So it looks like this. It only has bristles on one side. It's kind of like, I don't know. You can see it. I'll have a close-up to show you. Um, so it's almost like it really just... Like it's like a comb, I guess. Instead of like a bristle brush with like hair all the way around, like a round brush, this is just like a comb. So I actually ended up really liking it because again, it's one of those um, wands that's like, it's not super flexy, but it is the rubber wand. It's got kind of like longer bristles towards the end and shorter um, towards the tip, which I think is nice. So you can kind of really get into like the inner corner of your lashes. A lot of times with mascaras that are really fat, um, always when I get in, try to get into my inner corner of my lashes, 
I end up getting mascara right on my lid in the inner corner there. It drives me nuts. With this, no, I don't ever have that problem because I could get right in there and I l actually really, really loved how this kind of like See the shape? It's kind of like curved, um, but not super, super curved. I feel like it just hugs, you can hug it right at the base of your lashes, kind of wiggle it in there, and then sweep up and just comb your lashes. And it gives a lot of definition, which is something I love in a mascara, and length, and as well as curl, because it does have that, that kind of curve, so I could just curl it up. Love this. This is a really great mascara, but this is also one that I love to, to pair with another mascara. Now, I know I'm not the only crazy who uses two to maybe even three mascaras sometimes to really get your lashes popping. This is one that I would pair with any mascara that was really thick, really volumizing. Um, I know for sure I had used it with this mascara. I'd put this on first just to really get a good thick coat of volume, good, good. And then I would go in with this to really like comb through and separate the lashes and then get the length and get the curl going. Yes, so this I think looks it works great on its own, but it's also a really amazing companion mascara if you really want to get those defined separated lashes. So yeah, I really like it. I I don't know if I'll repurchase right now, but I do think that's one that I would repurchase in the future just because of for that companion effect. It's really, really great. And then next up I have another one, um, and this is the Maybelline Great Lash Mascara, and this is like a classic mascara. I don't know if anybody, like on YouTube at least, I'm sure there's lots of people in re like person in reality um, who who use this mascara, but it's like one of those bottom shelf, like you see this, like I only ever see it in the bottom shelf. Um, it's like one of the cheapest mascaras you can get. It is an old school, this is the mascara my mom used, except for I do remember that my mom um, wore the color brown and she had the straight, because this comes in curved as well as a straight brush. I loved the curved one. Um, but anyways, yeah, this is the kind of mascara that I actually used in high school, um, like I said, because my mom used it. And I love this mascara. This is literally a cult classic to me personally. I love it. I think people don't think much about it just because it's it's like old school and it's just so basic. Like literally the wand is just the most basic brush wand for a mascara, but it works. It's amazing. I remember when I'd gone back to using this, I was like floored and like Oh my god, I remember why I love this mascara so much. It definitely gives me some curl, it gives separation, it gives um, volume and length, like it just, it does everything. It is literally great lash mascara. I mean, it, that's, it's, yes, it recommend. Very, very cheap, one of the best mascaras, hands down. <laughs> Moving on to a higher end mascara and another one that I received in BoxyCharm. This is the Tarte Tartiste, Tartiste mascara and I remember actually really really liking this. And this one kind of has another one of those that has like a thicker wand so um, not my preference in that aspect because you know with the thicker wands you have to be a little bit more careful with your lashes um, but this does have that rubber wand and the bristles I think are a, a decent length um, and I remember really liking this. I feel like it did really well for my for my lashes and I don't think I had any complaints about it except for that it is kind of a, a thicker um, thickness wand wise but I remember really liking it. Moving on to another uh, higher end mascara. This is the Makeup Forever Excessive Lash Mascara. This is one that I've received in PR but I actually just recently repurchased just because I saw it in this set and I want to say like the set with the mascara was the same price or cheaper than buying the mascara by itself. I'm not sure if it was a deal or something but I saw that and I was like yes yes please I will take that. Um, so I got the little um, it's a full size mascara and then it was like a sample size of their sensitive eyes um, makeup remover and then like a little sample of um, one of their Aqua XL eyeliner pencils, which I love those, but this is an amazing mascara. This is one, another one that has more of a simple wand, like the wand of this actually reminds me of the Maybelline Great Lash Mascara um, wand, but the straighter one, only this one I think is just a little bit skinnier than that one. Um, so it's just kind of like one of your basic like mascara wands, nothing fancy about it, but I don't know, something about the formula of this mascara is just perfection. Um, I love that it is a skinnier wand so I can really get on the lower lashes and it's 
<sighs> kind of just like the Maybelline Great Lash. It just like it just it just makes my lashes great. <laughs> um, but anyways, um, this is another mascara that really builds amazingly on itself. Not all mascaras build really well upon themselves, but this is one that does. It's meant, I think, to be buildable, and it, it certainly is. It is amazing. Really great mascara, but funny thing is now that I'm saying this and thinking about it, I wonder if the Great Lash Mascara is kind of a dupe for this mascara, and I kind of feel silly now having purchased another one kind of realizing that it is so similar to the Great Lash Mascara. I'm gonna have to get the straight wand one and compare them, do a little beauty battle, see. I feel like something about this makes it just a little bit better than the Great Lash because it is so buildable. And I do feel like the Great Lash one is buildable too, but I feel like this one's even buildable, like better. I don't know, maybe I'm just crazy and trying to justify the high price tag, but it is a great mascara. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try to speed along. I know I've been like chatting way too much. But anyways, this next one is another one, yet another that I received in BoxyCharm. This is the Wander Beauty Unlashed Mascara. When I first mentioned this and used this mascara, I think I used this twice on my channel. First used it, I remember being not so impressed with it. It has a really promising wand. It's kind of like this cur- oh, look, it's so like dried out now. It's done for. Um, it's this curved wand. It's kind of a wider wand, so it's th more thin, and it's got a nice curve, but it's wide, so you kind of really use that to your advantage. But anyways, I remember when I first used this mascara, I really didn't care for it that much. I felt like it was just okay. It's one of those very, like, natural-looking, like, natural mascaras that makes your lashes look natural but just with a little tint of color but really does nothing else but i'd seen uh, my friend lauren um talk about this mascara and how the brand reached out to her and, and gave her some tips to to help to you know really maximize the use of this mascara and so i too wanted to give it another shot and i did and i kind of used it and i, I talked about it in a previous video i'll maybe just link that so i don't have to repeat everything here but i use it a little bit differently and i feel like it did work a little bit better than and i liked it a little bit more than my first impression of it at the same time it's kind of an expensive mascara I feel like it's like kind of ridiculously expensive and for that price I definitely I wouldn't recommend and I would not purchase myself it was nice to be able to try it but it's just not my preference I still think that even with the kind of improvements and tips that I used with it it still didn't give make my lashes as good as like I prefer as good as other mascaras that are way cheaper and things like that so it was an okay mascara but not really great definitely wasn't great lash that's for sure <laughs> okay oh my gosh i still have so many more i'm gonna try to whip through these quickly okay so the next one i have is the um it cosmetics tight line mascara this is like just literally a tiny little wand i really kind of want to repurchase this again i just haven't because i think it's still it's pretty expensive um for what it is and i really would only use it um for uh my lower lashes and i don't think i need to be that extra that i have like this expensive tiny skinny little wand just for my lower lashes but when i did use this I really liked it. I mean, look how freaking tiny this little wand is, but it's seriously so, so good. Like it really getting the lower lashes. Um, it's hard to really get my lower lashes to pop and to be def like defined and separated because most wands are so fat and so big that I just run them down there just really quickly and just whatever happens, happens. Um, that this one really, you could really, you know, pamper your lower lashes as well as like get into the tight line of your your lashes I loved it especially when I was wearing um like falsies so I could get in there and kind of coat my lashes without getting mascara on my false lashes and things like that so I really really like it but I don't think I will repurchase because it's just kind of like one of those extra things if I got it for free I would be in heaven and I would love it <laughs> but um yeah I probably wouldn't spend the money on it but I would recommend it if you're looking for something like this okay. the covergirl total tease mascara this is another mascara like I don't know what it is like drugstore um, brands are coming out with like the craziest mascaras and wands and things like that this one has a crazy mascara wand so it's kind of similar to like the the maybelline falsies one where it kind of doesn't have any bristles on one side and just has it on you know the back side but this one additionally has bristles underneath at the tip and it's like the weirdest looking like wand it like seriously looks like a, some kind of funky torture device 
Um, but I remember really liking this as well. I felt like you could really kind of get into your, your lashes um, and get a good coat and definition on them. And then if you turn it and use the, the longer bristles that are like at the tip here, you kind of really get into the, the inner corners here on your lower lash line. I don't know, it's a funky mascara that I don't think would be everyone's preference because it's just so weird and kind of the wand takes a little bit to get used to. But I remember really liking this mascara, so yeah. Moving on is another drugstore mascara. This is the Pixie by Petra Lengthy Fibers Mascara. And I think I only use this a handful of time, a handful of times as well, because um, I feel like it really actually didn't do much for my my lashes. You would think that with the fibers and it's like lengthening that it would really build up volume and length in my lashes, but I don't remember it doing that as as well. Um, I felt like the fibers, like there was just either too many or the, the formula of this mascara just doesn't hold the fibers very well. So the fibers would like fall out and then fall into my eyes a lot. And I've tried other fiber mascaras or other mascaras that have fibers in them. In, and I never would have guessed it was a fiber mascara until I realized later that it was. This one, you can just totally tell. It just, like, they just, oh, no. It, they just, they would fall out, get in my eyes. Very irritating. So I only used this, I think, like, a couple times, and I was like, I'm, I'm done with you. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna group these next mascaras together because they're from the same brand. I got two from Ico London, Ico London. This is the Lash Alert Mascara, and then as well, their Black Magic Mascara. And then I also have this one, which I purchased myself. So these two I actually received in PR. I ended up falling in love with them so, so much that I repurchased myself. And what I did was I got this kit. So this one's brand new, hasn't even been opened yet. And I purchased this at Ulta, which is really nice that Ico's at, at Ulta. It's kind of a more expensive brand, but I just really love these mascaras so much. This is one you guys have seen me use quite a bit, actually, in my more recent videos. I've been using this mascara a ton. It is amazing for my lashes. But anyways, did I just, I totally sidetracked on myself. But anyways, I purchased what this this and it was a set and it's I don't think it's available anymore I tried to look and I didn't see it was still there but if it is still there I will link it because of what a good deal so what it was is like you got the full size of the black magic mascara and then it came with like this little deluxe sample size of the lash alert mascara and it was the same price as just the one mascara on its own and like I don't I didn't understand I was like is this like real I'm not sure but I'm definitely getting the one with two in it <laughs> so <laughs> So that is what I did, <clears throat> and I was hoping it would still be available because I'm like, that is a really good deal because I think it's like $25. Like, that's expensive for a mascara, but when I saw I could get two, I was like, yes, please, I'm doing this. So anyways, <laughs> um, I did, this one's pretty much done for now, so I'm getting rid of that, but I did have these two um, that I had tried previously and used these mostly during the summer, I believe. Was it the summer or be, like by, before the summer? Anyways, love these mascaras. Uh, they're kind of actually really similar, so I'm not quite sure what the difference is. I think the Lash Alert mascara, this blue one, has a little bit of a thinner wand, whereas the um, Black Magic wand is a little bit thicker. Yeah, so you kind of see, but they're like the same shape. Um, that curve that I like. I do think that either both or at least this one that I can tell is a fibers mascara, like I said, with the other one. Um, I didn't even realize this was a fibers mascara until like I looked closely and I was like, oh, I think there's fibers in there. I think this is a fibers mascara, but I never would have guessed until I had looked closer and was like, oh, okay. But anyways, um, I like them both the same. I feel like they do relatively the same job, so I don't know if I could pick one versus the other. They both do an amazing job. It's just that this one has a little bit of a thicker wand. Anyways, really, really love these mascaras. I would recommend if you don't mind spending the extra money or if you can like get the package deal. Like I don't know why or when they do that, but if they do, like get that because that's that's a good deal. Hopefully. I got the uh, Wet n Wild Lash Renegade Mascara. I picked this one up myself just because I was super cute. Look at the cute packaging. I was really, really curious about this one. This is another one with yet another funky, crazy looking wand. It looks like a freaking old school, like, torture, ancient torture device. I remember really liking this a lot. I felt like it gave my lashes a lot of volume and, um, it was nice. My only complaint is that I feel like my lashes did look a little bit too clumpy for my preference. It's not crazy clumpy, but I feel like if the bristles on this were just a little bit longer, you'd be able to really kind of comb through lashes and get a little bit more definition. Um, but this is a super cheap mascara. I think it was like $4. And I think for the price and for like the crazy weird 
design of it it actually works really like surprisingly well so I liked it but I didn't love it I do wish it was just a little bit more defining all right <sighs> then we have the essence rock and doll crazy triple XL volume mascara this is another mascara that is super amazing the wand looks I don't know it's like kind of a chunkier wand but it's also more flat like it's wide like this and, and flat I remember loving this mascara and I do recall the Essence is a more affordable brand so this is one that I would really recommend I mean when it says like crazy triple XL volume it really does it gives a lot of volume it gives a lot of as far as I remember good length like I remember just like being stunned with this mascara i feel like this is another mascara where you're wearing it and it almost looks like your your lashes look like falsies it's that good recommend lastly and i don't even know why i saved this one for last because this is also one of my favorite mascaras this is one i feel like i wore a lot in the summer as well so the ico once must have been just a little bit before the summer and i freaking love this this is the uh, touch and soul stretch s stretch x mascara it has a curved wand which again you guys that's my preference the wand actually is a little bit thinner hey babes i'm coming in with a voiceover for this portion of the video because i ended up going on this weird long tangent and never really came around to talk about why i like this mascara or what it does but as i said this has a really great curved wand i love the size of the wand it's perfect for really getting a good curl on my lashes helps to separate to give them definition gives length it, it's a formula that builds upon itself so i felt like my lashes always looked really really great the formula seems very unique to me it, it's almost reminiscent of like a waterproof mascara although it's not so it's not going to give your lashes that crunchy plastic feel um but it's so so long lasting it's like budge proof smudge proof um didn't have any issues with like it running or anything like that but yeah it washes away very nicely at the end of the day I love the way it made my lashes look, and it is a mascara that I definitely want to repurchase in the future. But it's a really, really great mascara. I think this is another one's kind of expensive, but oh, it's such a good mascara. I love this. I want to repurchase this, but I mean, clearly, like I've said already, I do not need more mascaras. I have this one. I've got this one I just purchased. I just received the Perversion one from Urban Decay, so I don't need to buy new mascaras. But if I ever do need to, this will be one that I want to purchase again. It's so good, and I definitely recommend it. Love, love, love that mascara. All right, and that's it. Oh my gosh, I'm finally done. I'm sorry that this video was so, so long, but I hope you guys found it helpful, informative. And with all that being said, I just want to thank you so much for watching, and until next time, much love and hugs to you. Bye, beauty babes. I think this is a mess, <laughs> mess, oh, but I remember, oh, this is R E um, oh, and uh, let's, let's get, this make me not look so gray. Um, um, anyways, <laughs> calm down, Maria. Okay. <sighs> Just breathe. And, uh, yeah, with all that being said, I forgot what I say. I forgot my outro. <sighs> and so I was gonna get her bought. La, 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 la. But that was, oh my gosh, I got hair everywhere. What time is it? Oh my gosh, my kids are gonna be home soon. I, I, <clears throat> so spazzy. I've been staring at the edge of the water long as I can remember, never really knowing why. And all that stuff, and and then you were, we're gonna put this. What am I saying? I'm getting crazy. Because, like I said, I like the way this my mat. Oh, why can't I talk? I really. I've been talking so so long. I need a drink of water. <laughs> Gosh, I feel like sometimes my hair is like too fluffy and then it looks too flat sometimes drives me nuts okay um and then 
why do I look so gray? Can I have some color into my life? Okay, let's speed through this. Okay, 